In this video we are going to cut the fuel filter for the BMW F10. I want to see what we have inside, especially I want to see if we have any metal filings, any signs of the high pressure fuel pump having any wear or any damage. So we're going to cut it. I hope that we don't get too much contamination when we are cutting on the inside, but it will be interesting to see how the filter is built and also if we have any metal particles. We are generating quite a lot of particles. This is the cut that we have done. Let's cut it here off. Da da da. Da 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 da. Let's see if I'm able to catch it on camera. We have contaminated that area and this area when we have done the cutting. But if we look a little bit in between, except for the places where I've put the glove and cross-contaminated, Everything looks very clean and also an area that hasn't been contaminated is the area inside. So we can take a look. But now realistically thinking this is the clean bit. So should we have any problems? We're gonna have them on the outer bits. This is contaminated, but let's cut it. It's contaminated based on the way that I cut it. Nope, that was not really working for us. Or maybe with a little bit of brute force. Looking at it, I cannot see any contamination except the one that we have generated when cutting it. I'm looking at the size of the metal filings and kind of all of them are consistent with our cut and with our extraction process. This is the dirty side of the filter. And this is what we have on the inside. The clean side of the filter. From, from a mileage point of view, 
these are the equivalent of 20,000 miles. 20? Yeah. I've changed it at 106 and now the car has 125, 126. Now let's take a look at the construction and the function of this filter. We have already performed the cut and these are our components. As you can see the flow of fuel will be from this side and goes on that side. From the middle we are missing this cardboard filtering element and looking at the construction we will have the flow of diesel coming from the fuel tank. This acts like a spacer to allow a little bit of a gap there. The fuel will go towards the outside of our cylinder and all of these cardboard filtering elements are glued to this side. So fuel comes in, spacer goes on the outside. We have these profiles that are guiding the fuel outside. We can see that we don't have a central hole or any way of the fuel going in the middle. The fuel will go to the outside. It will be filtered by the filtering element, this cardboard. It will go to the inside and it is guided on the outside port and goes to the high pressure fuel pump. This is the inner bit. It's lighter in color and the outer bit that is much much darker. The metal filings that we are seeing are from contamination when I've done the cutting. I checked the middle bit and I couldn't see anything that is consistent with let's say filings from our fuel pump. Overall this was our fuel filter. I hope that this video helps. If I forget something or if you have ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments below and I shall be seeing you in the next one.